This is an interesting topic. You were telling us about your fruit, uh, your jackfruits, how they fell. I think our bacha is going to throw me down. How did your jackfruits fall? Uh, it's also going to come on the video, but it's just throwing it down. Go ahead, go ahead. Of course, stay highlight, stay highlight, it's recorded. How did your jackfruits fall? One fell on the other and? Every morning I was counting them. Yeah. Then they became minus 18. How? Because they all fell. One on each other and 18 knock, knock down each other in one cut, shot. Cut, start again. <laughs> but it's all, start, start. Actually, it's kind of, uh, I don't understand. Last year, yeah. I lost around 21. But they were from higher up. One afternoon, there was a, one night, there was a shower of jackfruits. You're wondering what's happening. I came out, there were jackfruits all over the place. This year, in, in the afternoon, again, there was a loud bag. I went outside, put 18 jackfruits were down. Each one tri tripping off the other oh, yeah. and knocking off so many. So, so uh, I had a similar experience where uh, my avocado tree just fell by itself. There was not a whisk of brin breeze or anything happening. And a friend said, uh, you should have tied a slipper to your to your avocado tree. Because Maybe, did you sell your avocados? Yeah. Maybe you sold them too expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah we were always doing that. Sir. 250 rupees a kilo in the Maksa market and use 250 rupees a kilo. Okay, price, good right? one. Maybe, maybe you're right. But but to come back to the point, do you believe in these cells? Oh, these? I don't believe in these. Simon, you believe in these? No. I'm beginning to believe in these. My I believe. Free fell down. You believe in these? Huge. I don't know, that's what everyone says. It's because of this life. It is to be seen. Basically, basically, we got to be realistic and take prevention like you see that there's too many jackfruits on one step so to wait yeah it's a wait no no all and these the are scientific and rational explanation and that's heat, fine heat is too much. see all these are scientific and rational explanation that's fine and i know there is a cause and effect but sometimes some things happen which leave you wondering do you think there is any supernatural evil eye concept of evil eye which is what i've never ever believed in that uh, Rico, it must be what you know when the branches are you know the, you know heavy you know branches on the top you trim them they have to be trimmed the tree uh, I never it must be it might came full tree came down in your case so the angle of your branch must have been to more than 45 degrees see and the weight was too much so it yeah, I never it believe down. in dish but sometimes some things are very mysterious let me say that Jacinta you believe in dish no no I don't believe and I shouldn't believe yeah, I don't even want to try. It's it's a powerful uh, belief in Goa. Yeah, that's but I believe in Kisal and Moshi. <laughs> oh, the one at uh, the ghost on the hill. Yeah, because uh, when I used to come from Pilen to selling out to make a wife, when I was there, whenever whenever I went back, I looked behind if anybody else was there on my Honda and RX hundred. <laughs> Taking a ride. <laughs> hey, on that note.